In this video, you will learn how to find the domain and range of a cubic function or a cube root function. The domain is talking about the x direction, so you will be starting from the left side and go to the right side. The range is talking about the y direction, so you will start from the bottom and go to the top. Let's look at an example of a cubic function. So a cubic function right here, to find the domain, we start from the left side. I draw an arrow on the left, I mean a line rather. And as you see, this line touches this arrow. So this arrow over here goes forever to the left. So that means it doesn't stop here, but it will keep on going forever. So we'll call that negative infinity. On the right side, we have another arrow that goes forever to the right. So that is positive infinity. So the domain is going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. Notice how we use round brackets because you can never reach infinity. For the range, we start at the bottom, so a line at the bottom of the graph. Again, we have an arrow. And you see this arrow is also going down forever, so we call that negative infinity. On the top, we have another arrow going up forever, right here. So we call that positive infinity. So the range is going from negative infinity to positive infinity. And if you look at this graph, it doesn't really matter what you do to this cubic function. You can move it up or down, left or right. You can compress it, you can stretch it, you can reflect it over the x-axis. No matter what you do to it, you will have arrows on both the left and right and on the bottom and the top. So for all cubic functions, the domain is always going to be negative infinity to positive infinity, and so will the range always be from negative infinity to positive infinity. The second example, we're going to take that cubic function that we had earlier, and we're going to reflect it over the x-axis, and let's move it a little bit to the right. So it looks something like this. But when we find the domain here, we still have an arrow, so negative infinity. On the right side, we still have an arrow, so positive infinity. So as you can see, the domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. And the range on the bottom, we have an arrow. And on the top, we have an arrow. So the range is still going to be from positive infinity, oh sorry, negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, and let's look at one more example. In this last example, we're going to look at the graph of a cube root. So a cube root looks something like this. The domain from the left to the right Again, you see we have this arrow going to the left forever, and arrow going to the right forever. So that tells you negative to positive infinity. And for the range, we start from the bottom to the top. So this arrow, even though it looks like it's going left, but you can see it's also gradually going down and will keep on going down forever. And this arrow, will also keep on going up forever. So the range is also from negative infinity to positive infinity. So to conclude, for both cubic functions and cube root functions, the domain and range will always be negative infinity to positive infinity. So if you see any graphs or any equations that once you recognize is a cubic function or a cube root function, and they ask you domain and range, it will always be negative infinity to positive infinity.